Hello, welcome, and thank you for stopping by. Early last year, my wife and in-laws made a trip down to Texas to visit their extended family. And while my wife was in Texas, I asked her to buy me not so much souvenirs, but things that I cannot buy or find here where I live, we live in Colorado. Most specifically, scratch tickets. I asked her to buy me some Powerball and Lotto tickets also, but this is all I got, so. Such is life, it is what it is. And you can see that they're, they've been scratched. I did play the games and I did win, which was awesome. But I live here in Colorado and I wasn't necessarily gonna make the trip from Colorado to Texas to claim my prize. So I stuck my ticket, my winning ticket in an envelope, sent it to the Texas Lottery Commission and lo and behold, my letter arrived. Can you see that? Is it focused? And my winnings are included in this envelope and I am opening it for the first time right now to witness my winning lottery check. And I was kind of skeptical about sending a winning lottery ticket in the mail and hoping for a return. Because once I sent it, it's pretty much out of my control, right? But lo and behold, my Texas lottery winnings have arrived. And you can see that $2 winner, winner, winner chicken dinner try not to hate try not to throw shade but my two dollars i don't know how to how to spend it i don't know what to do with it invest it go crazy throw a party congratulations you played the game of texas and won blah 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 I don't know if I should frame this or not. Well, actually I can because thanks to today's technology and apps for banks that such that they are, I can take a photo of this check, deposit it in my account and still keep the check, which is awesome because I think I will keep it as a memento of my $2 winning of Texas scratch ticket money, $2 right there. So, yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for watching this silly short video. I was pretty stoked about winning anything from a scratch ticket. Plus, it's from a state that I don't live in, so it's actually pretty cool. And it's only $2, so I guess I will keep this check in a binder somewhere as a little memory of the trip I never went on, but my, well, my family did. And um, thanks again for stopping by. Later.